Africa. Our manzi kwenze kumenya na social media. In this social media streets, it's not safe. It's not safe. I remember going on for Monday's show and social media was set ablaze with Pastor Jimmy K and Ephraim's back and forth in the comment section. It wasn't even a private DM. And even after this reconciliation, I'm still questioning the strength of the relationship between these two brothers. As you know, Nevas Mumba, Dr. Nevas Mumba, is, he loves bringing people together because even with Ben and Chela, he said, no, I want to bring them together. Bella, he brought these two brothers together. Now, a recap on the story. So Pastor Jimmy K had put up a post to his social media talking about men who just spend their time praying in tongues without putting in the work. Now lots of people had agreed with Pastor Jimmy because even the Bible does say the lazy man will not eat. But Ephraim went to the comments to say, well, I don't think this is how the approach should be. So Ephraim says uh, in the comment section to say, Yama, I think you're forgetting where we're all coming from. We're a product of those same prayers and the things you are now looking down on. See, material things should not take up the important things that build relationships. Now, when we saw this, even with the I'm like, Ephraim's taking this wrongly because that's not the point of the post. The post is, don't just pray, put the work in as well. And the comments also agreed with Pastor Jimmy. And then Pastor Jimmy just went ballistic on Ephraim. So he says, Ephraim, son of Africa, Yama, it's either you're too dumb to understand the English in my post or you're playing to the gallery. Always trying to be a Mr. Goody Two Shoes. Don't come to my page to write rubbish. I'm not your Yama. I'm not your friend. And most certainly, I didn't ask for your opinion go to school and improve your comprehension Jesus. what part of my speech did i say i had to know you should forget prayer this is what the one that caught so much attention on social media but it actually continued because Ephraim went ahead to respond to pastor jimmy to say well you're blowing things out of proportion please calm down jimmy wasn't having it he went ahead to continue with the comments as you're gonna see when it come up but everybody was saying how how is it that it's the Christian community and these people aren't sharing this, you know, sympathy between each other? Why aren't they so tolerant of each other? And from there on, we were all left in limbo. But uh, Dr. Nevers Mumba, or the, 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 the comments just came up. So Ephraim goes there to respond to that comment to say, we miss the pastor in you, buddy, and not this Jimmy we're seeing here. And he laughs. But... It might have been a joke on the other end, in the other camp, it wasn't a joke because it continues. Jimmy responds to say, I miss the genuine Ephraim. That's if you ever have been genuine. Jesus. Not this hypocritical, condescending, backstabbing piece of crap. You have become my back. Let's break it down, Paminap. <laughs> I know a lot. Nipak too can be. That's why you live, Pano. That's why she's here. Because there's no me. I'm just bringing the 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 sun to the pot. You are kumbula lin. Let it take care from Kani. A picking. Kani. The holy beef. The holy beef. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Well then, Chito. First and foremost, I feel like Pastor Jimmy blew it out of proportion. I feel like it's Facebook. Obviously, people are also coming with their own opinions. I will not always agree with your opinions. Yeah. That is literally Facebook. That's why the comment section is there. If you don't want people to comment their own opinion as switch well, off. switch off the comment section. Mm -hmm. So for him to go ballistic the way he went responding to the first comment that Ephraim made, for me, I was just like, hmm? Mm -hmm. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening here? And, because and on that point, true, because it felt more than just the post. If it was just the post, it would have been a ha ha ha, but I don't think this is what I was trying to yeah, say. Yeah, you would have everything. probably gone, no, what I was trying to say is, is this, yeah, right? it was personal, and, and we it, can it see it. Even after the reconciliation, because well. Pastor Jimmy took to his Facebook, even after the reconciliation, to say, it was not just that moment. There was a lot that had happened behind the scenes. And here's the post that's coming up. Pastor, did, Pastor Jimmy did say, uh, people don't see the many times I have been the bigger person privately, reaching out every time he attacked me publicly. The many times he chose uh, to deliberately take my Facebook post out of context so that he looks smarter for his personal glory and social media applause, which is true. Ephraim really does be whiling in Pastor Jimmy's comment section. So when he could have simply reached out to ask if he didn't understand the context, my face has been slapped more than once and more than what the Bible prescribed. I slapped. It's been slapped 70 times 7 mm, because the Bible prescribed. I slapped back but in the Bible said to turn the other cheek. The other cheek. Oh, well. In fact, the Bible said 70 times 7. So, <laughs> why 
what you saying? My favorite part because is... Because we also know our Bible, so... This... Really back in my favorite line is Limo Limo Danaka Naine. He quoted the, the Ephraim. But if you want to see the reconciliation, Dr. Nevers maybe prayed for our brothers and Ephraim also took to his social media to say the power of reconciliation and forgiveness. Thank you, Dr. Nevers Mumbai. New season. Thank you, Lord. But people ain't buying it because the smiles just seem like they're smiles for just for just. And uh, <laughs> Jimmy isn't. Uh, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> for me, this is what I really find it um, inappropriate that they had to go back and forth with each other. First and foremost, the fact that they hold such a high standard, especially in the Christian community. Mm. A lot of people look up to them. So for, to see people going back and forth like this, so it's just like, ooh. Also, this is why you shouldn't be following people. You should be following Christ. I say what I say. Go deeper. <laughs> go beyond. I say what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't take it back. Uh, I, why should I? I'm not. Because I feel, I feel like this is the norm that people have normalized where they start following somebody they look up to, maybe their pastor or the pastor's wife. They're forgetting that these people are human as well and they tend to err at some point. And once they err, now nah, they can get their Christianity. Yeah. How can they do? Because mm? it was the person and not the Christ. And Jesus. 